As reality shows go, American Pickers is a pretty laid-back one. The concept of two guys driving around America to discover hidden treasures from people's attics, barns, and garages has proved so popular with the viewers that the show has almost two dozen seasons under its belt. And the good-natured haggling element adds just enough fun tension to the road trip vibe of the series. Well, I'll tell you one thing, he's got a nose for good crap. 50 bucks. Absolutely. All right. I mean, that guy's like a bloodhound. He just went right to it. Unfortunately, the show's chill facade eventually fell apart, revealing a nasty rift between its main duo. Since it first came to light, much has been said about the feud between American Pickers hosts Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz. In short, after Fritz suddenly stopped appearing on American Pickers, the two reality TV stars shared a series of public statements about one another, revealing what appears to have been a considerable tension underscoring their former working relationship. As a result, Fritz's absence from the show continues and will, by all accounts, remain permanent. That said, during the 20 full seasons and handful of season 21 episodes Fritz co-hosted American Pickers, he left an indelible mark on the series. For example, Fritz at one point claimed that each of the scenes in which he and Wolf meet with prospective antique sellers are unscripted. Can we take Big Lou out of the cabinet? Nobody touches Big Lou. Uh-oh. All right. He then cited the value of filming genuine human moments as one of his favorite aspects of the job, which shows a genuine warmth that no doubt contributed to his appeal as a TV host. On one particular occasion, however, an attempt at a comedic bit framed Fritz as unnecessarily petty. Out of the many, many scenes of the show, this may very well have been the single Frank Fritz moment from American Pickers that went too far. Season 13, episode 14 of American Pickers includes a scene in which Frank Fritz drives a van, while Mike Wolf speaks to an unseen third party on his cell phone in its passenger seat. Although Wolf is negotiating a transaction, Fritz argues that his business dealings are taking too long and are an unwelcome staple of virtually all of their numerous road trips. That's 31. 31 minutes about the same motorcycle. The last time I drove the van in silence was when, oh, that's right, never. Some on-screen math then accompanies Fritz calculating just how much time he's typically subjected to sitting silently through Wolf's phone conversations. Given the nature of most reality TV shows, this is fairly likely a scripted comedy bit. Nevertheless, the scene characterizes Fritz as a bitter and discourteous partner, who takes issue with the fact that his co-host chooses to use his downtime to conduct business. In light of the fact that Fritz and Wolf are no longer on speaking terms, this scene is all the more egregious. It's now irrevocably colored by what seems to have been a very real friendship-ruining tension. 25 full days and full nights of my life are spent listening to Mike Wolf talk on the phone. When two people spend a bunch of time together, it's not unheard of for one to slowly build up a dislike toward what they see as the other's disagreeable habits. Since parting ways with the show, Fritz hasn't hesitated to throw a few verbal daggers in Wolf's direction, as evidenced by a July 2021 interview with The Sun where he said, I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He knew my back was messed up, but he didn't call me up and ask how I was doing. That's just how it is." He also insinuated that the two men aren't exactly on great terms, and that he feels Wolf may have wanted his exit so he could make his brother, Robbie Wolf, a full co-host of the show. While Fritz didn't outright insult Wolf too harshly, he made clear that he thinks his former co-host has turned against him. Fritz also revealed that he feels that the fans like him more, even though Wolf is the clear focal point of the show. Yep, that's a biggie, no heart and soul. Rewatch the cell phone scene with knowledge of such comments, and you might find yourself wondering just how far gone the two men's friendship was at that point. I mean, what a conversation piece. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite reality shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.